Hello, welcome to another food review with me. John. And welcome to another food review with me. Uh, today, as you can see, I'm going to be reviewing these two items. Doritos Loaded, both the Cool Ranch variety and the Jalapeno and Cheese variety. I have reviewed the normal variety before, um, and they sell those at 7-Eleven. Uh, you can look at my videos to see that. Um, these two are actually from the frozen section in the grocery store. You come home and you make them on your own. So they also do have the regular flavor in the frozen, but since I already tried that, I want to try these new, these other ones, the Cool Ranch and the Jalapeno and Cheese. So, without further ado, Let's get into these. Let's try the Cool Ranch variety first. Here's a close up. You can see it kind of has those speckles in it like Cool Ranch Dorito would have. So, if you don't know, these are like filled with cheese. Let me take a bite out of it. Is hollow. It looks like a lot of the cheese in this one has kind of escaped, but there's still a pretty good amount in there. Definitely getting that cool ranch flavor. It's crunchy. It's cool ranchy. And the cheese in the middle is pretty good. Now when I pulled these out of the oven, they were just starting to leak out some cheese. So I think I pulled them out just in the nick of time. Which is like always with like the cheese filled things, Totino's pizza rolls, the biggest uh, mistake is leaving them oven too long and everything in the middle is gone and you just have a burnt shell but uh, that Doritos Loaded, Doritos Loaded Cool Ranch is really good it, the flavor the rhyme just reminds me of Cool Ranch Doritos but you also get that cheesy middle now, I don't think there is a chip for Doritos, just jalapeno and cheese. So, I don't really have an idea in my mind of what to compare this with. So, we're just going to go right for it and allow my brain to just make it up as I go. Let's go. Jalapeno and cheese, Doritos loaded. Mmm, look at that cheesy metal. That one's full. Now these ones, I didn't see any leaking in the pan. Also, another notable difference between these is though the boxes look the same. They're the same size, uh, seven and a half ounces each. But if you look at these side by side, you can tell that the uh, Cool Ranch one is a bit smaller than the Jalapeno Cheese one, a little bit bigger. So I actually got uh, less of the, of the Jalapeno and Cheese. I think this one had seven in it, and this one had nine in it. And also the, the times to cook are a little bit different. They both cook at 450, but these ones take 10 minutes and these ones take 12 minutes. So I pulled these out just a little bit before I pulled these out. And these were even leaking at that time. So definitely on the Cool Ranch, don't leave them in too long. But the, the jalapeno and cheese ones, they didn't have any type of leakage in them.
these ones remind me less of Doritos, but like the filling in this with the peppers and the cheese. I feel like it's more substantial. What do you owls think about it? Cheese sandwich? What about you? Anyway, I like the Cool Ranch and I like the jalapeno and cheese. I don't know which one I like better. The Cool Ranch reminds me more of Cool Ranch Doritos. The flavor is very much the same. It tastes like you're eating Cool Ranch Doritos just with the addition of a cheesy center. The jalapeno and cheese ones don't really remind me of any type of Doritos that I've had, but I like the filling better with the whole chunks of peppers in it. Uh, the middle just seems more cheesier. They are both very good. I'm going to give both of them a 9 out of 10. And I do recommend that you go out and try these Doritos Loaded uh, in your freezer section. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. And um, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Until next time, guys.